Okay, this is probably the most insane thing that I have seen in a while. So Google just released a new AI model called Gemini 2.0 Flash and there are some new experimental features that we can enjoy. So this AI model is multimodal which means it can understand text and images and on top of that it can actually modify a picture. So there are some examples here in the report in the blog post i'm going to leave the link in the video description or video comment so you can check it out but basically you can edit images you can ask for modification with just prompting so this is just one example that google has provided there is a picture of an empty table and it asked to add some flowers and just a few seconds later it is generating a new image actually the same image but there is a flower on top of it so this is just one example of what you can do in Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental. And the best part, you can use this AI tool today for free. This is not behind paywall or anything. You can use it as long as you have Google account. You can use Gemini 2.0 Flash and you can modify photos or maybe create something new with just prompting. What you need to do is visit aistudio.google.com and make sure that you log into your account. And after that, after you click go to Google AI Studio, you will see this interface. This is an actually a tool for developer to test the capabilities of this AI model. But of course, this is available to the public so we can use it. Now, if you want to use the, the model that Google just released, you have to select the model to be Gemini 2.0 plus experimental. By default, it might be going with Gemini 2.0 plus and you have to change that to Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental and make sure the output format should be images and text. Now, uh, previously I have shown you the picture of croissants and this one is actually the same picture but it added some chocolate drizzle on top of it. So that's one example. It's not creating a new image, it's just modifying existing image which I think look really cool. So I want to try editing a new image and uh, I want to see what this AI model can do. So if you want to upload an image, if an image, sorry about that, you can click on this button and then click upload image. And I'm going to go with this picture, uh, black and white photo. So I want to ask AI to colorize this photo accurately. And click run or press control and enter to send this image to AI. Now, when I'm recording this video, it took about sorry before i do this i experiment i do some experiment and usually can generate the result in less than 10 seconds but i do believe that right now this is the peak hours so there are a lot of people using this tool at the same time and that's why i probably have to wait quite some time to get the job done but i think it's still a lot faster than manually selecting the area or selecting the photo that uh, the area of the photo that you want to modify using tools like canva or photoshop so i think there there are some good use cases that editing with uh prompting like this which with a chatbot is going to be a lot more convenient by the way i think uh on each generation this is going to take forever so i'm going to just skip forward so you can see the result all right so about 77 seconds later this is the result that gemini just gave me is it accurate? I have no idea because this is actually a real black and white photo so I don't know what the actual picture should be or what the actual color should be. I think it's kind of relevant but maybe the green color is a bit too strong but I think in general it looks amazing. Now I want to try again with a different picture. This time I will ask AI to add Milky Way to the sky because the sky is right now it's empty. I think it looks boring. So let's add some stars from the milky way galaxy to make the picture even more attractive okay look at that it looks amazing i think this picture is now 100 times better so this is just one example of editing with an ai chatbot so let's try something else uh, i have this picture where there are a lot of people in the background and I actually haven't done this kind of testing before i'm recording this video so i have no idea what kind of picture that Gemini will produce based on this prompt. So I'm curious. Uh, the task is, is very simple just to remove the people from the background because there are so many people in the background here. And I think this is one use case where people are going to find it to be extremely useful when you go to vacation and there are a lot of people that are in the way and photobombing your 
a selfie, then this tool is going to be really, really useful. Okay, wow, that's totally empty. It's almost like you are taking a photo in Paris uh, during pandemic. But yeah, you can see that this is the before and this is the after. This is crowded. Uh, there are a lot of people in the background and then this is empty and maybe with some editing you can make it even more attractive like maybe changing the clouds or changing the weather but overall with just a simple prompting and 30 seconds of waiting it got the job done it is this is even faster than some ai tools that are available in canva or photoshop because you have to uh, select the area that you want to edit but this time ai will understand your query and just do the job I think that's really, really fantastic. Now, I have another test here. I, I have this picture of a sketch of a building, uh, not a real building, by the way, but I want to turn it into an actual building. So let's see how AI would reimagine this sketch into a real building. I think this is a sick architecture. This is really cool. Minimalist, but pretty cool. Oh, wow, that's pretty quick. You can see that this looks amazing. So the picture is, I, I don't know what to say. This is amazing. From this into this, this is actually something that you can use in a presentation or maybe you are a developer and then you want to uh, showcase your project, but you don't have the time to render a 3D model. Then yeah, just send this photo, send your sketch to AI and it will generate this building. Wow, that's just insane. Okay, this is just one example. Uh, there are many others. So there's another thing that I want to try, but maybe I, I think it is worth mentioning that this is a tool for developer, for testing. So if you create a, a new prompt, create a, a new chat window right here, all the photos that you have created will be deleted. So if you wish to download this, just click on this button to download the image and maybe you can share it later. So just keep that in mind that if, when you create a new chat, the previous chat won't be saved. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Now I'm going to do it again. And uh, I guess I want to create a new chat, opening a new page. Okay. Now I want to know how do you boil water, but I want AI to produce a photo on each step. So I want to have a step-by-step -step process to boil tap water to make it drinkable. And I want to have an image on each step of the step-by-step -step process and i think i think this is really amazing because it makes uh, makes it possible for someone to write an article or a blog post or maybe a step-by-step -step video on youtube and you can just generate the picture and the text right here uh, you can see that the pictures i think pretty am amazing they're not perfect like uh this container i don't know what it was but you can see that it's it's really accurate that you can start from the preparation like there's a tap water and then there is a uh, pot and then there is the water flowing into the pot and then you are boiling the pot. So it's pretty amazing that AI can do this. I think just a few months ago that AI can only create realistic pictures, but now it can understand the picture really well and it can edit your photo. It will understand what you mean or what, what do you want to get. So yeah, uh, this is amazing. I think eventually there, there's going to be some third-party tools out there that are being powered by Gemini 2.0 Flash. So we will see. But if you just want to edit a photo quickly, we can go to this website. And I do think that eventually Google will bring this tool into the Gemini app in mobile. So at some point in the future, maybe in the near future, you will be able to access this amazing AI photo editor right using your phone so if you find this video to be useful or if you want to see more amazing AI tools that you might want to use please consider subscribing to this channel anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you around